In this question, we're asked to find the velocity ratio of an inclined plane inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the vertical. Now, the question looks very, very simple, but if one is not careful, one is going to miss it. Why? In the question, we are told that the inclined plane is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the vertical. They were explicit to tell us is to the vertical. So, if you are to show our diagram, what we are going to have is something like this. Let's say this is um, a wall and we also have the floor. Okay. And then the inclined plane is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the vertical. The vertical is the upright standing one. 30 degrees to the vertical can then be shown as this. This is 30 degrees. Okay. We already know that this is forming a right angle at the base. But what is the formula for the velocity ratio? The velocity ratio, the formula for the velocity ratio is giving us 1 over sine theta. But now, what is theta? Theta is the angle inclined to the horizontal, not the angle inclined to the vertical. Theta is the angle inclined to the horizontal. So, we need to find what is the angle inclined to the horizontal. In the diagram, we are given that 30 degrees to the vertical. If you use that, we are going to miss this question. So, to the horizontal, this angle being shown in blue is our theta. And looking at the diagram, we can see that um, the sum of the angles of a triangle, 90 degree here, plus the 30, plus the plus angle theta, they are going to be 180. So that theta will be 180 minus 30 plus 90. So we are doing this because the sum of angles in a triangle is 180. And already we see that from the diagram, we are having a triangle. So our theta will be 180 minus 120, and that is 60 degrees. So now we can go ahead to plug in the right value into the formula for the velocity ratio. So we can say that the velocity ratio is 1 over sine 60, not sine 30. So, and that will be 1 divided by, what is sine 60? Sine 60 is root 3 divided by 2. So if you are to swap, that will be 1 multiplied by 2 over root 3. And that's 2 root 3. But that's not included in our options for the answer. So what we just need to do is to just, we can say we want to rationalize we we'll multiply the sword at the denominator and we we'll multiply it to the numerator and denominator as being shown. And this will give us um, 2 root 3. Then root 3 multiplied by root 3 will be root 3 raised to the power 2. The power and the root, they will cut out. So we have 2 root 3 over 3. And that is the solution. Option D is the correct answer for the question. That's option D. So that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today. We hope that this will be of benefit, of use to somebody out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence. And that's our desire, that you go out and be the best. And as you do all this, we know that all will work out together for good. Until next time, God bless you.